Welcome back to another one. We are gonna hop in to talking about spend, right? So this is a question that everybody's got about how much are we spending across all channels broken down by date. Maybe you have all channels that you want broken down by outcome. We're gonna get into how to, to visualize that data. Um, we're gonna use a spreadsheet for the example, this example, but it works with all the connectors out there. Supermetrics, power myelitics, uh, Porter metrics, data do, you name it, like any data source out there, this method will work. So let's just hop right into it. But first, this is brought to you by the latest free visualization. It's the super scorecard. So all of these elements right here to the right or left of me um, are from a single element. We've got absolute change, relative change, and a date dimension all in a single element. It's called the super scorecard. It's pretty super if I don't say so myself. And it's also in the format of a scorecard. The name describes it. Go pick it up, datastudio.vip forward slash YouTube. Let's jump right into it. So here we are looking at um, something pretty. We're gonna, this is a data studio. The goal is, is that we have a single um, scorecard that displays all our spend across all channels. What we're gonna do for this demonstration is we're actually gonna look at a Google Sheet. So here, we've got a Google Sheet. You can see here right at the bottom, um, there is the, for example, we've got hourly cost. Imagine you've got some hourly employees that you're trying to figure out, hey, um, how much are we spending per day, right, on this? Maybe you wanna break down by project, it does not matter. Um, we then maybe have sales rep commission. Maybe you're uh, paying some sales reps here and there. And we got some Google Ads demo amount. So maybe, maybe we have date, amount spent, amount attributed. You could have this broken down by campaign. It does not matter. So we're gonna talk about how to do this. So first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna bring in each of our individual data sources. So we're gonna go over here to add data, bring it on up, select our Google Sheet. We are then gonna select our, hunt, our user um, data and we're gonna select our hourly cost. Boom brought in to Data Studio. Next, what we're gonna do is we are gonna bring in our next data source, which is gonna be our sales rep commissions. Broom, brought into Data Studio, moving pretty fast. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna bring in, we are gonna add our data, we're gonna bring in our next one, which is gonna be our Google Ads demo. All right, so now we just brought in three different data sources, it's the same Google Sheet, but it's three different data sources for from um, Data Studio's perspective. You could have, for example, Supermetrics as one, bringing in your Facebook ads. You could have then, um, I don't know, uh, Data Do from BigQuery bringing another one. You could then have, um, again, a Google Sheet for a different one. But we're gonna use Google Sheets for all three for simplicity's sake. So. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna create three tables. Go watch the data blending video that I'll link down below about how data blending works because that we're about to hop into. So first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna add a chart that is gonna be a table, okay? So this table we're gonna add in. It's gonna be looking like this. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna put it right there, pert near. And we are going to then change out our data source. Right now we're looking at our Google Ads, which you can see right here, boom, you should be able to hopefully zo zoomed in there. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our Google Ads data here, and what we're gonna do is add in the amount spent as our thing. So we have got date and amount spent. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that, and we're gonna bring it over here, and we're gonna change out our data source into our, our other one, which is gonna be called Obviously, I've got too many different de demo sources. What was it called? Uh, hourly. Boom. All right. And then we've got in here, instead of hours, we're going to do the total, which is going to sum it up per day, right? We got our totals in here. And then lastly, we're going to duplicate this one more time. And we are going to add in our. Um, Which one is it? We've got our Google Ads, we've got our hourly, we've got our, what was the last one called? Sales rep. We've got hourly, we've got Google Ads, let's bring in our sales rep. 
Okay, so there, now we have our three data sources that are visualized right here. If you wanted to, you can just use this and you can just change the dates and you are off to the races, right? Look at last month, it will update all three of these because you have the date. But that's not good enough. We wanna make sure that we have a single scorecard that visualizes everything. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna select all three of these with the drag in and drop in. We're gonna right click and we're gonna hit blend data. It's usually the very bottom of the drop downs. The reason why I suggest that you have three tables is that you know that a date exists in all three of them. So the next thing you're gonna do here is you're gonna say, whoa, 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 what actually happened? So let's go into the, the thing, let's get my big old head out of the way here and let's hop into it. So here you can see that it has decided to left join. The problem we're gonna run into with left join is that it's a left join. <laughs> it's bringing everything to the left. So we've got two options here. Option one is we make sure that the furthest left dimension or a uh, data source, the one right here, has a day, has values in every single day. The other option is to use an outer join. So what we're gonna actually do here is we are going to change this, right, into a full outer join. And so this right here returns all rows from the left and right table, whether they match or not. So the problem with this is, is you're gonna have multiple date fields. So let me just change this. And if I hit that, so now you can see here, we've got two different dates, right? Not the best. So that's what we don't wanna do. And the same thing we'll have a cross join. So what I'm gonna do is actually use a left outer join. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another data source. So we've got our three spending, right? And we're gonna add one more data source here. And we're gonna actually add the demo store of Google Ads or Google Analytics. And this is where we're gonna put this at the furthest most left. The reason why is we know that there is gonna be a day on every single day of our Google Analytics account. So what we're gonna do now is join each of these spending data sources to our Google Analytics data source. The reason for this is because we know Google Analytics is gonna have a day every, um, has gonna have data for every single day. If you have an ad spend account that you have that, this method will also work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this very much similar. We're gonna change this to a left outer join and we're gonna use the date of table one to the date of table two. Hit save. We're then gonna come over here and we're gonna do the date of table one to the date of table three. And then we're gonna change this to the date of table one to the date of table four. So now we have all three of our data sources right here that are all joining to this one. So what we're gonna do now is change this to GA. Let's just add in another metric here just for the sake of users. Let's just, my head is in the way. All right, we're gonna have this, which is then gonna be our Google Ads, right? So here we can say Google Ads spent, so G-A-D-S spend here, G-A-D-S spend. I usually don't in the tables in the left join, but here we'll do it. And then here we have our hourly, HRL last spend. And then here we've got our sales commission. Sales commission. Okay, and then this is actually the wrong thing. So scratch that, we messed that one up. We want the commission paid and yeah, so that's that. So now just to recap right here is that we've got our Google Analytics right up here. We then have our um, next one, which is our Google Ads. We have our spend. We then have our sales rep, rep commissions, all of which are being joined to this table. They're not being joined to each other. They're all being joined to this table and that is evident from our condition right here, which is going to our GA data. Okay. Now that that's all been in place, let's give this sucker a name, our master spend, and we're gonna hit save, and wait for Google Data Studio to do its magic. It might not close out, and we have to actually hit the X here. All right, so now, this is what we got. Is what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in, from our blended data source, sometimes you gotta refresh the page, so we're gonna hit Command R to refresh and we're gonna wait while it does that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is grab our, our little 
thing right here, we got our master spend. First thing we're gonna do is have our date, right? And then what we're gonna do is have our Google ad spend. We've got our hourly spend, and then we're gonna drop in here our commission, which is commissions paid. Now, look at this guys, look at that. We can get rid of these bad boys. And now we've got this. Now just wait for it. Once this, I can move this bloody thing. Okay, here you can see what we're looking at is we've got our Google Analytics date. We've got the amount spent in Google Ads for that day. We've got the amount spent for our hourly workers. We've got the amount of commission we paid. As you can see, commissions weren't paid every single day. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two things. One thing, it might be helpful to have this data all one table. We're gonna move that down right here. I don't discriminate against a good table. The second thing we're gonna do is we are going to add ourselves a little bitty scorecard. And let's make this scorecard bigger because you know it's really impactful and we can see all of the beautiful things that are happening here. So let's make this 48, let's go big or go home. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new metric. And so what you'll notice is that in blended data sources, you cannot create new fields. I know it sucks. It just is part of the name of the game, but you can create them at the chart level. So what you can do is just type in here is our Google ad spend plus our hourly spend plus commissions. And this is going to work for a scorecard, our total amount spent. Hit apply. Bada bing, bada boom. We are now off to the races. So during this time, let's just change this into a number of a currency and we'll just use US dollars, assuming that it's all in US dollars. It might be in Canadian dollars for all we know. So during this time, we spent this amount of money and the beauty of this whole situation is, is that now it is dynamic. So if we wanna say how much did we spend last month, right? Boom, we spent $7,000 last month in the month of June. How much did we spend in, for example, this time, right? It will automatically update, even though, for example, commissions paid, we've got some nulls here, we've got hourly spend um, here, we've got Google ads spent there. So now let's just level it up one level here. Um, so that is it, right? That's end of the tutorial, boom, you've got your scorecard off to the races, use it how you see fit. But let's let's add a little bit more, you know? What, what do we can level this up just a little bit, you know? A little pizzazz. So let's try here, let's try this. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a little chart and I'm gonna use a horizontal chart just cause that's my vibe, you know? And what we're gonna do here is we are going to then create three separate metrics. So here we've got this, let's make this a little bit skintier, make this a little bit farther. All right, so now what you can do is we can have this breakdown dimension if you'd like to. So we've got our date, right? And then we've got our spend. So let's just hop in here to see what our data looks like um, in our, sometimes I don't like this sidebar thing when you've got a lot of data sources, it makes things a little bit complicated. All right, so that is not it, sorry. As you can tell, master spend, commissions paid, Google ad spend, hourly rate, total users. So what if we wanted to say of our users, how much did it cost for how much we spent, right? That could be another option here. Um, but let's take this and what you can actually do here is you can take and add in all of your different data sources. And now let's get rid of total users. We want commission paid. And so now what you can see here is the, bro the breakdown of these different um, things. And we can change this instead of day, we can change this to week. and make this a little bit chonkier. All right, we're going back to the vertical ones. I apologize, everybody. All right, so now what you can see here is that by week, you can see when our commissions hit, you can hover over this and see that our hourly spend was this and that. And some days right here, right here, we spent way more on Google Ads than we did our hourly amount. And you can see how your spend kind of breaks down over time there. And then lastly, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create another field. So let's just put this sucker right there. We got our total amount spent. Let's add another one here of this new total users. Let's just drop this in right here. And then we're gonna create another one of then 
the total amount spent divided by the total amount of users. So here, and what we're gonna do is create a new field, put this sucker in here, wrap that in a sum statement, oopsies, command left, should get you a little left, sum of all of these bad boys. All right, and we're gonna do users divided, oh, no, that's not what we wanna do. Wait, we want, we want cost per user. Total users divided by the sum of those things. This should give us a percentage. Oh, we might have to, because it's um, a de-aggregated metric, we have to sum these up. Change this into a currency, so it's just give us our cost per user. That's not right. It's gonna go the other way around, sorry. It's late, what can I say? All right, there we go. So commissions paid divided by that. We're gonna now change it to a currency. We're gonna use the US dollar again. Feel free to use whatever currency you are using. And now we should have how much it costs per user. And we can name that right here, cost per user. So now you can use transactions, you can do cost per whatever your heart desires. Um, and it's super easy to update. So like now, like we, we just, knocked out of the park, right? We got total amount spent, we got total users. We got a breakdown here of every single week, right? That's happened during this time period. Now let's knock it out of the park and let's do cost per acquisition across the board. We're looking at offline spend, we're online spend, all of it together. So how we do that is we go up here, we get my ugly head out of the way. We then drop in here and we say, hey, let's just use conversions over, I know we could do, let's do conversions. We can also add in transactions and maybe we wanna do revenue here. And because we're joining on the date, none of this matters. Couldn't save the file. Okay, well that's cool. And so now we can have that, right? Total amount of users, cost per user. Now let's knock it out of the park and just do a simple one right here creating a field, field, oopsies, we're gonna grab our total amount. Because you can't create a new field, you're gonna always have to copy and paste this around town. So keep that in mind. So here, we're gonna have to, oopsies, that's not the right button. Um, we're gonna have to sum up all of these, right? That's that, so the amount spent divided by sum of revenue, sorry, total revenue. And we're gonna hit apply. And this is gonna give us a ratio. And that is not right. Sorry, I got these backwards yet again. And here we go. So now you can see uh, your cost, your ROAS, whatever you like to call it, return on, return, return on total spend. And so right now we're looking at, we got a 10X return on spend. We spent 6,000 and got 60,000 or whatever it might be. And so now there you go. You are off to the races with blowing people's minds inside of Data Studio. Um, you can even add in here, for example, if you wanted to see the um, total uh, revenue there. So now you can see how great our revenue is compared to our spend. It dwarfs in comparison. And now you know exactly how to blend inside of Google Data Studio using spend as one thing and then looking at the actual amount of what you're achieving on the other side of things. So if you have not yet, download the custom visualization over on datastudio.vap forward slash YouTube and I will see you guys in the next video.